Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is in Washington, D.C. tonight, continuing his plea for continued American aid. He spent his morning speaking to senators and his afternoon with President Biden. Madeline Rivera has an update on an important day in Washington. Congress needs to pass a supplemental funding to Ukraine before they give Putin the greatest Christmas gift they can possibly give him. President Biden sitting side by side with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky in the Oval Office. The Ukrainian leader on a desperate trip to urge Congress to send Ukraine billions of dollars more in military aid. I just signed another $200 million drawdown. Of Zelensky spent the morning on Capitol Hill meeting with senators, where the mood was a little more chilly. Some Republicans don't want to give a cent to maintain Ukraine's borders until the White House cracks down on the southern border in the United States. Our first condition on any national security supplemental spending package is about our own national security. Zelensky's visit did not do much to sway them, despite his warnings that a failure to help Ukraine would be a boon to dictatorships. People need to be confident that freedom is secure and strong enough to win. The cracks in American support could threaten the broad international coalition that President Biden had built for Ukraine. We've seen what happens when dictators don't pay the price for the damage and the death and destruction they caused. As the president hosts Zelensky, some GOP members say the president should be spending more time instead talking to them. The only thing that is really holding this up at this point is the unwillingness of the White House so far to acknowledge that they're going to have to deal with the border component. The chances of reaching a deal before the end of the year are growing dimmer, which is when the White House had warned Ukraine funding could run out. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox 32 Chicago.